Double wow. Palace raised eyebrow as Sussex want to make clean break with royals and ditch titles. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been told to ditch their titles and make a clean break. And of course, it is claimed that the royal family didn't like Sussex using the Duke and the Duchess title to make millions with commercial ventures. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex has stepped down as senior members of the royal family last year and relocated to California. Following their departure, Queen Elizabeth II removed their HRH titles and they were removed as patrons. However, the couple have been allowed to retain the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But now, Graham Smith, CEO of Republic, has urged the couple to make a clean break and ditch all their titles. He told, they were given an order to pursue royal duties in theory for the good of the country and they are not doing that now. They have got a halfway house where they have one foot in the royal household but also pursuing their own private interests. I do think they ought to have made a clean break of it when they stepped away and just ditched the titles. Couple have come under fire for allegedly cashing in on the same monarchy they branded rotten to its core. Family members normally want the best for each other, but it seems the same can't be said for the royal family. Prince William is apparently dreading to find out about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's next business venture, claimed a royal expert, after they secured multi-million dollar Netflix and Spotify deals following their royal exit last year. According to Duncan Larcombe, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are cashing in on the royal brand every time they bash royal members and talk about their lives behind palace walls. The author alleged that William isn't a fan of the couple's tactic to gain popularity and new deals, noting that he may cut ties with the pair if they continue down this path. By continually talking about the royals, they're cashing in on the brand, Larcombe stated. What do they do next? That's a question Prince William is dreading the answer to. It previously reported that Harry and Meghan secured a $150 million Netflix deal in September after they stepped back from their senior royal duties last March. The couple then announced in December their second multi-million dollar deal with streaming service Spotify to produce and host podcasts. At the time of their Netflix deal announcement, Larcombe insisted Harry and Meghan's business venture was not favored by Queen Elizabeth II, saying, this could be, by far, the biggest royal sellout in history. The couple have gone from being full-time working royals to producers in Hollywood. And it seems the couple has no plans to slow down on finding new projects to work on as Harry recently released his new Apple TV Plus series with Oprah Winfrey called The Me You Can't See, and Meghan recently published her first children's book. In Harry's series about mental health, he openly discussed his upbringing in the royal family. Meanwhile, Meghan used her title as the Duchess of Sussex for her new book, The Bench. The couple's projects may further their divide with Harry's family since the duo decided to walk away from royal life yet still try and maintain their royal brand, Larcombe insisted. The royal author urged Harry and Meghan to find a way to create new business opportunities that are not related to their royal lives. Ultimately, they have to find a way to do their work in L.A. while not trading in on the royal brand, Larcombe candidly told, noting that the couple's relationship with William may worsen if they continue to talk about the royals. He was quoted telling the outlet, but by continually talking about the royals, they're cashing in on the brand. If they spend their whole career selling that royal brand, they'll never speak to William again. That royal brand.